Hello and welcome to another episode of Crypto Corner everyone. Today I will show you how to set up and use the world's first NFT hardware wallet, the SecuX Nifty, this device here. It's super secure as with other hardware wallet devices. If you've been following this channel for some time, you're probably familiar with SecuX. I had them as guests on this podcast last year. I also reviewed their V20 hardware wallet device and their robust seed backup metal cards, steel and aluminum cards that you can use to protect your seed phrases from any hardware wallets that you have. So I have a great relationship with this brand, I like their products and they were very kind to send me this device here, the Nifty Hardware Wallet. So today I'm unboxing and setting it up. I'll do this with you so you can see the process and use this as your step-by-step -step guide. So let's get into it. Now before I start I want to also mention that I do have discount links for any of the SecuX devices including this one of course, so make sure that you use these links to get the discount. So. Nifty Wallet by SecuX is indeed the world's first hardware wallet exclusively built for NFTs. You can not only store and display your NFTs on this device, but you can actually trade them too, buying and selling directly from the device by accessing OpenSea, SuperRare and many other popular NFT marketplaces. The device has a 2.8 inch color touchscreen, so navigation is easy, just like with their other devices that I've tested before, and the security is top notch too. As always, security is the main reason we use hardware wallets and this device makes no exception, offering robust, super secure cold storage for your NFTs as well as the digital assets that you need to buy or sell them. I mean, if you can store either Matic or BNB right now as they support these EVM compatible networks, but as more networks are being added, you're able to also store the cryptocurrencies of these networks too, not just the NFT. If you want to sell an Ethereum based NFT, you need some Ether to sign the transaction, so it makes sense that you can store Ether in the wallet too, or with Polygon Network for instance, you will need some Matic and so on, so it doubles as a wallet for your coins too. So let's see what's in the box and then I will proceed with the setting up. You can also skip this part if you've already opened your device and you know what's in the box and all of that and if you're just looking for the tutorial part, just skip this. But uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, of course, as before you open it, you have this sticker here which should not be tampered or broken or anything so you know that it is a brand new and secure device. Uh, you know, as you open it, you do have a little bit of instruction here getting started. There is a barcode that I will be, um, a QR code, sorry, that I will be scanning in order to get the application on my mobile phone. And um, I already have their application for the standard wallet on my other phone. Uh, here I will install it as I'm gonna just start from scratch. I will install it, everything I will do as if this is the first time that I'm using any of their products because I will have to assume that this might be the case for you. So in the box, of course, we see the device uh, and the device also has this sticker, this blue sticker here, which should not be uh, damaged or tampered with or removed. I mean, if you don't see that sticker, then something is wrong. But uh, typically this is not, uh, you know, such a popular device just yet. It's still brand new. So I doubt it, at least for another year, we're not going to see fakes and stuff like that. After that, most likely we will see some fakes. So then you will have to worry about, you know, all of these things being in place. Um, you also have this envelope, which as you open it, you get a recovery uh, sheet, a couple of these recovery sheets, and you get an aluminum metal card to store your recovery uh, phrase, if you want to use that one. And of course you have the paper cards to start with. Uh, there is also in the box, there's also the cable. The cable is USB-C and that's about it. So now let's move on to the setting up of the device. Okay, so now the first thing that I'm going to do before I even connect the device 
is I'm going to scan this uh, QR code here so that I can download the uh, application directly on my phone because I will need this application in order to operate with the device and I don't really want to be um, doing it, uh, you know, searching for it on the web. I'm uh, scanning directly from the box that came with my device and I know that it is a genuine one. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to open the application and of course, I will have to also start the device. Uh, I'm also going to remove this sticker here because I don't really need it. This is uh, the charging uh, port. So uh, I think the device comes already charged to some extent. Uh, that's all right, yeah, we can start it. So we don't really need to charge it. But of course, you can uh, charge it if, if the battery is not really full. You might want to charge it because when you're doing setting up and all of that you cannot risk the device dying in the middle of your setup you want to be able to do the whole setup without any interruption without any prob problems and hiccups and stuff like that so setup hardware wallet is actually the option that i'm getting here and uh, of course i have to accept terms of use and everything let's go next create a wallet connector device or restore a wallet now i'm not going to be restoring this is the first time that i'm setting it up so i will be creating a wallet all right and uh, you can skip through all of these uh, kind of marketing messages so let's move on to the next step i need to select a pin By the way, if you're having difficulties scanning the QR code from the box because it's quite a small one, you can also scan this one here. Okay, now let's set up my pin. For the tutorial part, I will be using a very easy pin. After that, of course, I will be changing it. I'm going to use here 1010, which is really easy. Okay, now here, set up as a new wallet go next this is my recovery seed now i will have to write it down and i will need that recovery seed if anything happens to this device uh, if i forget something and i need to wipe it out or use the restore function or if i lose it and i buy a, a different one and i want to restore my wallet with a different device a new device i will be able to do all of that with that seed phrase so this 24 words that i'm going to set up now is going to be the most important part Okay, next step. Okay, let's do that. It says generate seed, that's where I'm going. And now it displays the words that I need to write down. I'm gonna do this off camera and I will come back when I'm ready with this step. All right, so I'm done with that. The next step would be to confirm this. Uh, of course, I have them written down and I need to confirm them in the right order. So I'm starting with word one. Then I'm going to word two. Then I'm going to word three, word four and so on and so forth until I actually confirm all of them. OK, so that's done. And as you can see, it is the easiest process of confirming words because they're just displayed to you and you simply have to choose click on the correct one. You don't have to type, you don't have to guess it, you don't, you don't make mistakes. So that's the easiest confirmation of a seed phrase that I've ever seen. OK, so now I get to the dashboard. I have my favorites, receive and settings. These are the three options that I'm seeing at first. So let's pair the device. And now I'm displayed a code that I need to confirm here. Okay, now this step is done. Let's move on to the next one. I set up a pin, which you remember it was quite an easy one. We do have a scramble uh, uh, option here. So uh, the, the numbers appear different in different positions every time. Okay, cool, done. This was the setup. This, it's a very easy setup indeed. And I have my favorites, I don't have any yet, and getting started. So of course, the first thing to do is to be adding any assets that you have. Uh, you have Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain and Polygon for the moment. I'm pretty sure very soon they will be adding more networks, um, Cardano, Tezos, uh, maybe even EOS, who knows. But um, for the moment we have EVM compatible networks. I can go straight here for, to one of the uh, marketplaces 
If I have an account with OpenSea, Rarible, uh, Unstoppable Domains, I have actually accounts with all of this. Super rare, looks rare. I mean, I can just go directly here. And also, if you click here in the middle, this is where you can actually see the tokens that you can hold currently in there. And as, as I said, you can hold Ether, you can hold BNB, and you can hold Matic, because these are currently the three networks that are already preset. I will need to receive any of these tokens here if I want to be able to operate with this wallet because as I'm sending and receiving, especially as I'm sending NFTs from this device, if I'm selling or sending to someone else, I will need to cover some uh, transaction uh, costs, transaction fees. And these in on the Ethereum uh, blockchain, these are paid in Ether. On the uh, Polygon chain, they're paid in Matic. On Binance Smart chain, they're paid in BNB. So I will need to have some balance is here even if you don't want to be using this as a wallet for your for these assets you will need to have at least a, a little bit of this in in here so what I need to do is go to receive and I will choose which of these assets I want to receive and again I'm given the QR code and my wallet address that I can copy and then I can go into my other application my other wallet and initiate the sending from there to this wallet Okay, so let's move on with this. I'm going into OpenSea. I already have an account there. Uh, this is one of my NFTs. Let's go and send this. I'm choosing the transfer option. And this is my destination address. Let's do transfer. I will need to approve this transaction on my MetaMask, of course. I need to sign it. Let's see how much will be the fee for this transaction. All right, well, it's quite a small fee. It's uh, 57 cents, which is great. I'm going to confirm it. Okay, now this is being processed and very soon it will show up. Okay, transfer is complete. There we go. The NFT is here. Now I can see it on my phone. Let's see if I can also see it here. And uh, now it's in my favorites, meaning here in my device, as I click on my favorites and let's display it. And I'm also getting all of the details about this NFT. So there we go. The NFT is in the device already. It's downloaded in the device. I can access it on my phone app. So I don't even need to carry the device with me. In fact, it's uh, really just a cold storage. It's a safe storage. So you don't really want to lose it. It's best not to carry it with you around. Uh, my suggestion would be to just uh, have it, uh, of course, as it's connected to your phone and it's synchronized and everything. You can actually access this NFT on your phone. So if you want to just show it to people you can do that with your phone but the storage device better not leave your house so this is how you operate with this is uh, fairly straightforward and simple i hope that this tutorial is helping you and if it did please show your support leave a like and a comment below make sure that uh, you share this with other people who are also uh, interested in nfts or maybe they collect nfts uh, spread the word let them know that there is this hardware device that is really secure and help this video get more views this is much appreciated thanks for staying until the end of the video if you have any suggestions or questions drop them in the comments below and don't forget to use the links that i dropped in the description where you can get this device and any of the other SecuX devices with a discount and also you will see my tutorials on the other devices as well. Thanks for staying until the end of this video, make sure you're subscribed and while you're here just pick another one of my videos. I'm gonna see you in the next one.